What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and in this video we are going to be opening up a garage sale mystery box that we just purchased. Now in all fairness this isn't 100% mystery um, at least to me. I did take a peek in the top of the box that you can pretty much see here. I took like two or three items out and once I realized what all was in this box, I instantly purchased it. Uh, we had actually stopped uh, at this uh, garage sale to look at something else, um, a bookshelf actually, uh, for the collectible room. And I happened to see this box uh, on a table over in the corner. And when I walked over and looked inside of it, I just couldn't believe what was in here. A lot of really cool 90s uh, toys and vehicles. Uh, at least mainly vehicles from what I saw, but there were a couple cool things that I could see down further inside the box. So I just put the few items that I had taken out back in, uh, purchased the items, and for 25 bucks, I mean, uh, what I could see on top was already worth that to me. So uh, not going to be a loss at all in my eyes, but I thought it would be cool for us to come back here and open it together and see what like is in the bottom of the box and the rest of the stuff that's in here. Maybe hopefully some loose accessories and figures um, and whatever the case may be. So we are going to go through this box, uh, check out everything that's in it. Uh, we're going to go through the things kind of quickly like we usually do with these mystery boxes. No full depth uh, reviews of each item. But we're going to check out what's in here because I'm very excited to add a few of these things to my collections, uh, my open collection. I need quite a few of the items uh, actually that are in here. So we're going to go ahead and go through this. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. So let's go ahead and get to it and see what all is inside of this $25 garage sale purchase. All right, so I've moved us a little bit closer so you guys have a really good view of the uh, the box. So this is pretty much what I saw for the most part, exactly how it was when I first looked inside this box. Right away, I could see a Masked Rider vehicle. Um, his talking car, Magno, is in there. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. I'll have to go back. I actually watched Masked Rider not too long ago. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's Magno. Uh, we have even some... Uh, Beetleborg's Metallics vehicles. These are the sector cycles or sector bikes. I'm not 100% sure on that one either. I'm sure I'm going to mess up some of the exact names of these vehicles and things simply because I haven't really dealt with them recently. Uh, but I've got a pretty good idea of what some of this stuff is. So let's go ahead and just pull it out one at a time, take a quick look at it. Um, like I said, I started with this right here, so we'll just go ahead and pick it back up. This is the gold uh, metallic Beetleborgs sector cycle. Uh, once again, I think that's what it's called. And it looks to be in really good condition. Um, I'm actually missing, I think I'm missing the silver uh, metallic sector cycle uh, and possibly this one. I know I have some of the Beetleborg uh, vehicles. But this is the gold Beetleborg sector cycle. Once again, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, nothing looks to be broken. It might be missing something, but for the most part, it looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. Let's go to these. So this is actually a VR Trooper vehicle. Um, this is one of the enemy's vehicles. This is the Skyborg Jet, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't remember if uh, Darkheart or Skug or who it is is intended to ride on this, but I'll try to throw up some pictures of all this stuff as we go. It uh, actually looks to be pretty much complete. I think we're missing a missile right here um, that launches out from the front. But other than that, I mean, this stuff looks um, in really good condition. I could not believe uh, what was in here, especially for a $25 box, but... Yeah, everything on here, even the handlebars and everything, the little belt uh, that holds the figure in place, everything is on here. So I do not have one of these. Uh, I don't even have one of these sealed. Um, I don't have a lot of VR Trooper stuff, even in my sealed collection, other than all the figures and villains. Um, but yeah, this is one of the villain vehicles, and this is the uh, Skyborg Jet, I believe is what it's called. So let's set that aside pull out another VR Trooper vehicle. So this is an actual Trooper vehicle. Hopefully I'm not breaking those. Yeah, I think they go like that. Uh, this is the Pursuit uh, Jet, I think is what it's called. Pursuit Plane, something like that. I'm pretty sure it's Pursuit. And for the most part, this also looks to be in really good condition. 
We've got, uh, obviously this is like the cockpit where the figure goes. We've got the little adjustable like joysticks, um, handles right here that are still on and attached and in good condition. We've got the little, uh, turret on the front right here. Looks like a, some possible little stress marks or something, but nothing actually broken. Um, looks to be in really good shape so another win here at least with condition another item that uh, i do not even have sealed um, so i can add this to my open collection uh, looks like possibly some uh, discs or something go down inside of here that shoot out we'll have to do a little bit of research on that uh, never had one of these but yeah this is the uh, i'm pretty sure it's the pursuit jet for the vr troopers i could be wrong but another win there right away two awesome items but we're getting into uh two of the bigger items that i was really excited about now this is the vr trooper i think this is the biggest vehicle they made and this is the battle cruiser uh pretty sure um, that's what it is officially called and for the most part it is even complete now on these and i'll try to throw up a picture for it there's two little doors um, right here that fold up that kind of conceal this uh drill right here it's missing the doors unless the doors are in there i don't see them on here uh, but we have both of the little like cockpit um uh, containment like cover things uh, one of the guns right here um, on the back uh, this actually like, see if I can do this without possibly breaking it. I don't even really remember how it goes, but this kind of pops out and these uh, pop up, kind of turns into like a little jet thing if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really remember how to do it though. So we're going to have to look that up was it wheel activated um, no that's turning the thing inside i really kind of want to mess with this but i don't remember how it goes all right so forgive my ignorance you're probably uh grinding your teeth right now watching me struggle with this if you actually uh know exactly what this was and how it worked. Um, we will do a full review of this stuff later and more uh, VR Trooper stuff still to come. I still haven't done my MOC collection uh, for the actual figures and stuff that I have, but this is one of the vehicles we were able to add to the collection. And other than missing a couple pieces that don't, I mean, it doesn't appear to be broken. All the little tabs are there. Um, it's just missing the two little doors, but this was the Battle Cruiser. So we're going to go ahead and set the VR Battle Cruiser aside. All right, so here we have Mast Rider's car. This is Magno. And this thing is in awesome shape. And I actually needed one of these um, out of the packaging. I actually had one. It was in really rough shape. Even the steering wheel inside is uh, clean and everything. I mean, this thing is in really good condition. So we have a Magno. Now, I really needed this for my Mast Rider um, collection. I was missing one of these in good shape and uh there's something else I, i'm missing i can't remember off the top of my head but we have magno oh the thing i'm missing i just remembered it and here is the little button on the front for the little blades that are there and in good shape as well uh i'm missing one of the villains uh, cyclopters uh, cycle i don't have cyclopters motorcycle but there's Magno. Uh, just with that stuff, um, it was worth $25. Now, we're about to get to this. Now, when I said I pulled a few things out and saw some more stuff that was in here, the thing that made me put those few things back in, which was a couple of the vehicles that I had pulled out, was when I saw the VR Troopers uh, collector case for the figures. Uh, right away, I put it back in there. 
Now, it will be awesome if this thing is just filled with more awesome stuff. It might be empty, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna check that out in just a second. I mainly just wanted the case because I have most of the uh, figures and stuff for VR Troopers opened anyway. Here we have another sector cycle for the uh, purple metallic uh, beetle board. Um, this one is missing one of the little ornaments, um, accessories right here for the front of the cycle. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't really look broken or anything. A few scuffs and scrapes here or there. Pretty sure I already have one of these um, anyways. So this will kind of just be an extra or maybe we'll make a custom bike out of it. But that is for the... Um, purple metallic beetle board. There's sector cycle. We have a, of course, um, pretty much with every toy lot that I buy, I find one, um, and I'm exaggerating of course, but I do have a ton of these. Uh, I find at least one Power Ranger McDonald's toy. Uh, this was like the most mass produced thing on the planet. I'm pretty much convinced by now. All right, we have a gold Zeo Ranger still in working order even has the staff attached to his hand uh, that just goes to show <laughs> how well they treated their items I mean yeah some of them are old this one's got a little tiny bit of yellowing you can't probably really tell in the uh, video but for the most part I mean they even have their accessories in their hand and everything's in really good condition so we've got a Power Ranger figure we have another VR Trooper vehicle. Now, I don't remember exactly what this particular one is called. I think this is JB um, Reese's vehicle. Uh, so <clears throat> I think it was like the turbo bike um, or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think it was JB Reese's. I could be wrong. This might have been... Uh, Ryan Steele's. Uh, not 100%. I'll throw a picture up so we, we get it clarified. But another vehicle. Uh, handlebars are there. Gun barrels are there. Nothing appears to be broken off of there. But looks to be in really good shape. I like a lot of this stuff. I know I'm probably saying that a million times. But um, as a collector, obviously the condition um, is important to me. So let's see what else we got in here. We've got some Spider-Man figures. Um, this is a 90s uh, Spider-Man figure, I believe. I don't remember exactly uh, what this one was called or the accessories it came with. We have a G.I. Joe. Kind of looks like a knockoff G.I. Joe. 2003 is what's on the, the foot there. So we got like a G.I. Joe figure. And we got a Spider-Man figure. We have another Spider-Man figure with a jetpack apparatus connected to him. I think this was like some of the Spider Wars ones. Um, I have a lot of uh, Spider-Man stuff. Some of the later ones uh, where they were just trying to cash in on every little different type of figure they could. I still haven't really completed my collection with a lot of those. Uh, so this is definitely one of those. I don't remember exactly what this was called or all the accessories, some kind of jetpack fighting thing going on here. But we have another Spider-Man figure. All right, we've got a Dex. We have a kickin' Dex action figure. I actually don't have one of these opened. I have one sealed in the package, but... So we've got a Masked Rider figure to go with our... Mast Rider Magno vehicle. And once again, in really good condition. No really even scuffs or scrapes um, that I can see, and it's still fully functioning. So, a win there. Oh, I see. We got an actual Mast Rider. Okay, we've got a Mast Rider figure. Unfortunately, his antennas are actually broken off. Um, I actually have one of these sealed and open anyway so not that big of a deal but we do have a masked rider figure as well to go with our masked rider stuff moving on all right we have a beetle borg we have the shadow borg so we have a beetle borg to go with some of our beetle borg stuff i'm loving the trend here 
Um, hopefully, oh, no way. We've got another. All right, I see something really cool down in here. Uh, we'll get to it in a second, but I think we're gonna have more Beetleborg stuff. Um, let's not jump ahead too far though. Let's uh, go ahead and check this out right here. So this is the Shadow Borg um, from the Beetleborgs uh, in really good condition. He still has the antennas up there. Um, no accessories on him, but that doesn't mean that they won't be in there. I mean, maybe we'll see some at the bottom, I don't know. But we've got a pretty good condition Shadow Borg. We have another VR Trooper, and I think, I think these two things go together, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe with this thing, I really, it looks like that goes together. All right, I don't want to break it, but I'm pretty sure this is the other piece to this VR Trooper's um, motorcycle right here. I'm pretty sure that connects down in there. Um, they almost line up perfectly, so that I'm pretty sure these connect. But this is like the little side bike, and even it looks like it's in really good shape. So we have that. Pretty sure that's what that looks like when it's done. Uh, let's see. All right, we got a mums. Um, so we have the mummy um, little dude from Hillhurst. So this is from Beetleborgs, of course, one of the monsters from the uh, Hillhurst mansion. This is mums, uh, the mummy. These things weren't like super articulate or anything like that. They came, uh, I actually have them sealed, um, but they came in like a six pack. I think there were six of them. Um, I've got it on the shelf uh, in the room there, but uh, so this is one of those monsters. Um, we even have a Ninja Turtle. We've got a Leonardo. And let's see if we can find a year on here. 1988. So this is one of the older ones. So all this stuff is older stuff. I haven't really seen anything um, in the last, I don't know, like 15 years or so uh, in here. But we've definitely got some older late 80s now and 90s toys. And we've got a Leo. Right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Oh, it's heavy. Yes. This thing is got some weight to it. So, all right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and just give you guys a sneak peek. I'm not trying to hog all the fun, but it looks like we have all of the AV vehicles, um, vehicles. I don't know why I said vehicles so weird, but, uh, we have the transporter, uh, that like opens up. Um, we've got the individual smaller ones and we even have, it looks like the larger ones uh, It even has the treads and everything with it. So Take we've got that in a second, but uh, I'm really excited to see what is inside of this VR troopers case. I mean, this case is in amazing condition and it is hard to find these older cases. Um, we got a little like pin mark or something right there that should clean right off but no rips, no tears. Um, this thing is just in amazing condition and it is heavy. So that means, oh my goodness, look at this. So it is full of the VR Troopers figures. Uh, it looks like we even have multiples of all of them. Um, you know, we got Ryan Steele. Uh, we've got two more, we have three Ryan Steele's in here. Uh, we have a bunch of accessories uh, and everything in here. JB Reese's, we've got three of those. Um, we've got <laughs> three um, Caitlin's. I mean, we pretty much have three of every figure. Um, I don't know why these are slipping my names. This always happens. Uh, Tankatron. Um, I think what well, this is Tankatron, right? Um, uh, I can't remember. Uh, pretty sure this is Tankatron. Um, we have even, it looks like three of these, uh, four of these. There's two more over here. That is awesome. Um, what is this guy? A uh, Skug. So we have a Skug. We even have one with his cape. Look at that. Um, then we have uh, Dark Heart, I think this is called, right? Dark Heart. 
Uh, we've got two dark hearts, almost three of every figure, four of some, just two of others. Uh, but we even have a lot of the accessories um, down in here. This, this alone was worth 25 bucks to me. I mean, it's worth far more than that, especially to somebody who uh, collects this kind of stuff because it's in good shape. But um, a lot of accessories in there, multiples of the figures, even the dividers and everything inside of this um, are it just in really good condition. I can't get over the condition of this case. I'm more excited about the case than I am the figures. I mean, this is an amazing uh, find, but the figures are fairly easy to come by. I mean, they're not like hundreds of dollars a piece or anything. They're not super valuable. Uh, people do collect them and sometimes people will ask 30 to $40 for a complete figure, um, especially if it's sealed in the package. Uh, but this case is what really has me excited because this is just in immaculate condition. I can't believe that was full of figures and yep, I'm gonna knock everything over now. Uh, but yep, collector's case, uh, 1995 Saban Entertainment. But we have the VR Troopers uh, collectible figure case, full of all the um, initial released VR Troopers figures. So pretty amazing right there. A lot of people didn't like VR Troopers. Um, I liked VR Troopers. Uh, I like a lot of things from the 90s. Uh, I mean, was it perfect? No, of course it wasn't. But uh, even Mast Rider, I liked Mast Rider. And, you know, I've already done one video on that. But uh, in a lot of people's opinion, it was a terrible creation of the, um, you know, the, the Common Rider uh, franchise. But I enjoyed it. There was enjoyable things about it. And VR Troopers was another one. Didn't last very long, but I did enjoy VR Troopers. All right, let's check out, we're kind of to the end. Uh, not that that wasn't enough, but we have, uh, what is this called? Um, gargantuan or something like that. I might be, that might be completely left field with that. I don't remember exactly what this thing is called, but it's like the carrier vehicle for the VR Troopers. And I see we actually have, um, hopefully all of his legs. What do we need? We need six total legs. So here's like the horn part. Um, that goes, kind of sets on there like this when he's in regular form. When he goes to carrier form, I don't remember exactly what this does. We'll have to check it out, but uh, it looks like for the most part he's complete. I think we might be missing a foot unless I miscounted. One, two, three, four. I see five right there. Let me put him aside. Got a couple more accessories in there. I'm not sure exactly what these go to. Maybe some of our vehicles. Not sure, but we got those. So we have the and we do have the tread for this side. I know those are missing a lot on here. These are a little cruddy, but for the most part, they don't look very bad at all. So we have the uh, regular sized AV vehicles that I'm pretty sure go to um, the carrier vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. I think I see one, actually I only see one of the smaller size ones. I think those went to the like base. Um, because there was like a little base play set that came out as well. Uh, we even have the little hook attached to the rope right there underneath for our red one. Let's take a look at these real quick individually. So this opens up. Oh, she's even in there. So our Beetleborg figure is actually inside the cockpit there um, where she sits. We've got the little hoist that comes down right here trying to pry it off. I don't want to like pull it out of there. I don't remember how that goes. I think these just spin around. Yep. And it lowers it and then you twist it and bring it back up, but in pretty good shape, especially for the age. Let's take a look at the green hunter beetle. I think the green one is right. And then the blue stinger beetle and don't really remember what red was called, but I really enjoyed Beetleborgs as a kid. So we have our right, here on the side, Green Hunter AV. What do we got in the back here? All right, so we have the magnet. Um, this actually goes on the front of the blue um, Stinger Beetles. 
Got the clamps. Is green in here? If they're all in here. Oh, green is in there. He's in the cockpit. All right. So we even have the little miniature uh, Beetleborg figures that go inside their AV vehicles. What is this? Oh, okay. So he pops up and actually spins around. Very, very cool. All right, let's check out in here. I'm going to pop this open. We'll do a separate review for these, but he like grabs his magnet from the back right there. So we do have the magnet. I want to check and see if he's actually in here. And he is. So we got all three miniature Beetleborgs. Blue Stinger is in there and all of their AVs. Um, and I think they're all complete. I could be wrong. We'll have to check it out. I actually didn't have any of these. I don't even have the, um, the sealed ones. Blue Stinger AV. Oh, Red Striker. It's right there on the side. She is the Red Striker Beetleborg. All right, let's pull this carrier back out real quick, just because I'm curious. So we have these legs that like go on here. So that's how the legs snap on. And yeah, I think we only have five unless it's like attached to something else that I didn't see. Uh, but I think we were short a leg for the carrier, but I can probably find just a spare leg uh, somewhere. So let's check out what else is in here. We've got some sort of like glass to a cockpit that probably goes to one of the, um, probably one of the VR Troopers vehicles. I'm not sure, but a little cockpit glass thing. So we have the smaller um, Hunter AV. And like I said, I'm pretty sure these smaller ones went to like the little base uh, play set. Um, could be mistaken. It might have been compatible with the other ones as well. Maybe these are the ones that actually sit on the carrier. Let's bring it back over. But I mean, they look kind of small. Like I said, I could be wrong, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe these went to the carrier and I only have um, one of them. No, because this looks bigger. I think the green one goes in the middle, right? I don't remember. I really, I honestly don't remember. I'm not even going to pretend like I do, but that's what we have there. All right. Man, that'd have been awesome if we could have had the other leg, but we don't. So we got another cycle. Pretty sure this is a Beetleborg, another Beetleborg cycle. Um... I don't remember if this is one of the first, I think this is one of the first, uh, like issues of the, uh, motorcycle vehicles. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. The other ones were the metallics. I think these were the regular ones and this was the stinger beetles, uh, motorcycle, but I'm not sure. I don't even know if it's all there. Cause I don't know what all it came with. looks like something goes in this little peg right here, but yep. Not a hundred percent on that one. And some more Beetleborg stuff. It looks like. We have another sector cycle. Is this the, I think this is the silver, this, yeah, I think this is the silver beetles uh, metallic and this is the one I needed. Unfortunately, it looks like it's, the handlebars are broken. So uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm not gonna complain because everything else was in really good condition for the most part. I might even be able to swap those handlebars with uh, let's say this purple one, cause I'm pretty sure I already have this one. If they're the same handlebars, I'll see how that comes apart. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the um, silver metallic Hunter Beetles uh, sector cycle. We have, speaking of the silver beetle, we've got one of the old, uh, what was this, McDonald's? Um, I don't remember if this was like McDonald's or Burger King or what, but this is one of the little like Happy Meals toys. When Beetleborgs was out, you had two wristbands and there was like a little cover on it for that Beetleborg, I think. And it's just a little 3D image. All right, we have some Beetleborgs. We have the Blue Stinger Beetle and the 
gold metallic Beetleborg look pretty good. So we've got those two. I'm not sure if these are the ones that actually came with the cycles. I know this is the one that uh, came in the individual packaging because I already have like two of these, but I don't know if they were the same figures that came with the cycles or what the case may be. Pretty sure this is one that came with the cycles. Don't quote me on that, but it looks like it. For some reason, his legs look different. I think that's the one that came with it. I'm not sure, but got some Beetleborgs. Oh, we got a super gold masked rider figure missing the antennas again but nonetheless another masked rider figure in our garage sale box we've got some more gi joes so this is 2005 um these aren't real gi joes i'm almost 100 percent sure they're not i can tell from the look of them um i could be wrong uh please correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure I was never real big into G.I. Joe's. I had a few when I was a kid, uh, but G.I. Joe's was just one of those things that never really interested me much. Um, so I did have some G.I. Joe's. I think I still have some to this day in like one vehicle, but for some reason, these just look like those fake ones. I'm pretty sure these are not real G.I. Joe figures. I'm pretty sure they would even say G.I. Joe on them, and they don't. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a Bumblebee uh, keychain. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that says 2019. So, well, wasn't a complete uh, old box here. So, we had a 2019 keychain of a bumblebee. And then, last but not least, we have a battery cover to something. I don't think that goes to anything we looked at. I could be wrong. Maybe gargantuan. No, I see his battery cover. Um, yeah, I don't know what this goes to. Uh, we've got a little uh, army man um, figure, and we've got a stormtrooper down in there. What year is this? 1997. So we've got a stormtrooper little figure. And that is the end of our garage sale box. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to move the box and just kind of put back here real quick what we got. So hold on just one second. All right. So we pretty much got everything in the shot now that uh, was inside of that box that we picked up at a garage sale. Um, 25 bucks is what I got this stuff for. Sometimes uh, you can get lucky and find some amazing finds at, uh, you know, yard sales, garage sales, even flea markets. Uh, I, we did happen to luck out uh, on this one. So I thought that was an amazing find. I cannot believe, I'm actually most excited. Uh, I'm really excited about Magno, um, the car, because of the condition it's in, but I'm most excited about that VR Troopers collector case, um, just because of how good a shape it's in. I'm glad I finally picked up most of the vehicles open. Um, so that's a plus, especially the uh, AV vehicles with the Beetleborgs. I'm gonna have to try to track down another foot for a uh, gargantuan i'm pretty sure i'm still saying that wrong uh I'll, I'll have thrown all this stuff up on the screen by the time the video is done uh, for you all but just wanted to bring that to you uh, i know it's been a minute since uh, we've uploaded a video uh, my apologies uh, that should not be a, a trend but uh, just a lot of crazy stuff with work had to end up traveling last minute i uh, didn't know i was gonna have to um, and just got back recently so knocking out this video tons of more content to come um, some other videos are almost done so should be able to get back to our regular schedule of putting out content for you all thanks for uh, sticking with us through it but that has been our little uh, garage sale box um, wanted to share that with you guys now we do have some more collections that we've uh, just purchased recently uh, well, I say recently, I mean, I've been gone for a while, so now it's been a little longer than that. But uh, one I'm really excited about that you guys can look forward to coming up is a huge Mystic Knights of Tiernanog collection. Pretty much every, um, well, I don't want to say every, but the majority of all toys that were ever released for that, uh, we got in one collection. Um, we know uh that what we know a lot of the stuff that's in that one um a lot of stuff that's not though they said that they wouldn't include so we're going to open that together uh but yeah we're going to go ahead and wrap that up there uh thanks for watching everybody until next time i'll see you next video